All right, I'm Sovereign Sage. So, a long time ago, I started a playthrough on this, and I always have a hard time getting my camera to balance on this bottle because it has like a bump in it because I have a bunch of papers in it, and uh, it bulges out on the top. Basically, I started a playthrough on this a very long time ago. I started playthroughs on all of the Legend of Zelda games over again because I had recently got a Wii U um, sometime this year and I had been trying to get one since 2014 and it took me all this long to finally get one. And I rebought all of the Legend of Zelda games again because I have them all on my GameCube but my controller doesn't work on my GameCube anymore so I can't play them. So I had to rebuy all of them. So Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. I also have Hyrule Warriors and Fatal Frame 5 as well as Star Fox 64. Um, those are like the only games I have on my Wii U. But mainly I started all of the Zelda stuff again. And it's kind of complicated too. Um, it's been stressing me out a lot because I have too many of them to work on. Plus I had restarted a lot of older games on my PS3 such as like the Tomb Raider and Dragon Guard 3 and God of War 2 and I haven't even gotten back to any of those because I'm so frustrated and since my console, my, my main PS4 crept the last year in November I had to start over on all my PS4 games and I bought PS Plus for a year so my I have like limited time to work on stuff really and it's making everything so hard not only that though I work really hard on all of my videos and I get people who cry about they want me to do this or do that, but it's like the views speak for themselves. I've even restarted Fatal Frame 3 again for a final time. So I finished Fatal Frame 2 again for like the 8th time. So I'm doing Fatal Frame 3 again too for about the 7th or 8th time. And like, it's just I can't really do much in terms of games. All I got is what I have. And I've been struggling a lot with this game in particular. I feel like I like Ocarina of Time more because there's not a time limit. You see at the bottom of the screen where it says second down there. You only have three days in game in this game to do every anything. And I feel like I hate that system because I feel like I'm too limited and I have been having a hard time finishing stuff. I'm also extra annoyed. Because the last time I played this, I had saved, and I didn't realize that every time you reset back to the first day, it resets all of the dungeons, and it resets literally everything. Because it literally resets you back to the first day. I mean, that should have been obvious, but I didn't realize that. I thought this game would save my progress, because even though I restarted back to the first day, because I, I took too long with this dungeon my first time through, and I was already running out of time, it was like the final day and time was ticking down at the bottom of the screen so I had to reset myself back to the beginning thinking I could come back and finish where I was at only to find out that that was not the case. I was able to retain the bow and the fire arrows that I got here but the entire dungeon had been completely reset and I'm annoyed because off camera I actually had to go back through this entire temple. This, this is the Snowhead Temple. I had to go back and redo this entire temple and get all of the fairies and everything all over again. And I'm super annoyed that I had to do that. Not only that, I came across a mini boss. He's like this ghost guy that you have to fight in here and you shoot arrows at him. You fight him twice. And I, I normally I, I have a hard time with that, but I got hit by him, or it might have been the two Stealthos, or not the Stealthos, the Lizalofs, where you get two, the, there's two fairies inside of the two lizard guys, um, like the same enemies from Ocarina of Time. And I think one of them might have killed me, and there was a fairy in each of them. And I only had one fairy left that I had in a bottle, and I was saving that in case I come to the boss and I screw up. And I died and I lost that fairy. So now everything's extra harder now because if I happen to die or screw that up again, um, like if I die now, I don't know where it's going to set me because I literally went through this entire temple and I have not saved at all. So if I screw up this boss fight, 
and I wind up dying, it's going to make me do the everything all over again. Um, I was thinking of hurrying and running outside and um, giving the fairies, trading them in, and then coming back up here. But it's a process for me to get up here to this boss room and I get frustrated with it every time I've had to come back all the way up here. Um, so, so I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just try it as it is. I wonder if I should already be Goron Link for this or if I should be Normal Link. Because when you fight Goat, I believe I have to unfreeze him. And he literally runs into you like an asshole. So this whole boss fight should be simple. Um, all you do is just kind of use your spikes in Goron mode to uh, defeat him. I was hoping they would give me a fairy here. Kind of, kind of sucks that they, they don't. That door, that door has a face. Okay. Um, what sucks too is there's a lot of people that want to see me play this game and there's a lot of people who like this game. But I find it to be frustrating because the, the time system and I feel like I'm too limited to do things. There's constantly going back and forth. The fact that if you do run out of time completing a temple or a dungeon and you reset yourself back to the first day, um, it resets that said dungeon. And I, So from now on, when I start any of the temples or dungeons in this game, if it takes me too long to get through it in a video, um, like it also in game time, if it's already hitting like the third day and I'm still not done with that dungeon, even with inverted time to slow it down, um, if I happen to run across that again, uh, what I'm going to have to start doing is completing the whole dungeon on my own off camera and then coming back when I'm at the boss. There might be people that don't like that, they want to see me go through the whole thing. But unfortunately, if I have to keep resetting myself back to the first day, forget it. Um, I do keep all my items though. Um, I do believe that if you have the boss key for the dungeon, I think if you reset back to the first day, you still keep it. Then again, I don't know for certain because I had the compass in the map when I restarted. Um, when I restarted back to the first day and I came back, I still had these. They didn't take them away. So I'm thinking if I can at least find the boss key and secure it, Maybe even if I set myself back to the first day, it'll still, it'll, I'll still have it. But the only thing that sucks is the fairies. Um, if I restart, the fairies are gone and there's 15 fairies for each main temple. So I'm not too thrilled about having to go back and find all of them. But enough of me just wasting time talking. People are here for gameplay. Waiting for him to hit me. He runs right into you like an asshole. He's like, you freed me. I will now run you over. Ah! Alright, it's go time. Go, 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 go. Get the spikes out. Ah! I don't want to get hit by the lightning. That's the only thing that sucks. Come on. It takes me forever to get the spikes out. It should be simple, but it isn't. <laughs> it should be, but it isn't. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. Ah. Come on, Lee. Come on. Just punch him. Or not. Come on. Every time you fucking asshole. <clears throat> cool, calm, and collected. Cool, calm, and collected. I know. I got it. <laughs> I know what I saw it and I ran. Because I'm trying to get Tattle to lock onto him to help me out. And I'm more focused on her getting up there. So I need to get her close to him so she can help me. And I keep running in the stupid thing. <laughs> Need my fairy to get up there. There you go. Beware the lightning. He shoots lightning for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. I guess he thinks he's Raiden from Mortal Kombat. And then he speeds up. What a douche. 
Oh, I was trying to get that jar. I was trying so hard too, and it was like, no. Okay. Lightning? Ah! Oh, you bastard! Get back here! We're not. We're not through. What? What part of you makes you think this is over? Oh my god! Come on. Lightning shot! Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Ah! Okay, let go. Just let go. Just, 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 just. Wait, wait, nope, 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 nope. Can I not pick it up? Okay. Issues abound. Come on, get those spikes out. Get the spikes. You lightning. No, no, you're facing me now. No, you're just taunting me on purpose. He said, I will stand here and wait. My lightning powers. Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> he actually turned a face to wait for me. Wow. What an asshole. He knows what he's doing and he isn't afraid to let me know. Oh, okay. I like somebody who's gonna taunt me. That's pretty good. I like you like your feistiness. Except for I can't turn. Ha. I can't turn and I can't see. Da -da -da. Yes. Fall you bastard. Oh my god. Bombs now. Just straight up bombs now. Man, he is full of everything, isn't he? Dropping rocks, dropping stalactites, throwing his lightning like he's Raiden, throwing bombs like a freak! Daddle! Come hither, come hither, I hope I don't die. <laughs> come on. Ah! You know what, I saw it, I saw it, I couldn't avoid. This is like the easiest boss fight of my life. What? What am I doing? Dano! Dano! Help me! She's like, help yourself! There has to be a way. Bastard. I won't let you get away with it, you son of a bitch! Ah. What did he even get hit by? There was nothing that could have possibly have hit me right there, except for maybe the bomb. Maybe it was the bomb, I don't know. Daddle! Help me. Help me, I'm dying. Oh dear god, this guy is a douche. Stop, 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 and you just stop. Woo! Hmm. Up over. Can't turn. I got it. That was luck. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it wasn't that difficult. I got you. That's about right. Come on, Lee. I hear it. I'm close. The sound of me dying sounds the same always. It's alright. Just keep running. Just keep running. Ugh. All right. That boss fight was easy though. I, what was I doing? Like what, what was hard too is I couldn't turn and then I was getting hit with the lightning. Like I would just happen to run into the shot perfectly every time. And there was one time where I got hit by what seemed like nothing. So it only took like one little half of, of the heart. So the hearts are spit, split into four sections. And it only took one section, when normally it would take like half, and it didn't. So I'm not sure what could have hit me to do such weak amount of damage. Might have been me running into the stalactite, but I don't think so. 
Anyway, you've freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of the evil goat. I like how it's just straight up a face with like horns and shit. <laughs> He's like, you freed me, child. And you nearly died. What exactly are all of you? It's Tattle talking. Man, these bubbles are like a freaking acid trip. <laughs> He's like, welcome to my LSD steam dungeon. Um, guardians. Guardians. So, you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples, but why are the protective gods? But I, but why are that's literally what it says but why are the protective gods that's not even a full sentence <laughs> no wait are you listening to me hey wait yeah he doesn't care <laughs> she's like eh? the mother and he just disappears into his lsd steam dungeon he's like welcome to my lsd steam dungeon where bubbles are fairies and fairies are bubbles and the steam is clouds and the clouds are water and oh my god <laughs> my lsd steam dungeon oh i was gonna try to say something about like hot springs or something to that effect but i wanted up coming up with that i i don't know that's not at all what I was going for, but whatever. Whatever, I guess it works. Don't really have time to argue. Alright, so now it's gonna be even more frustrating. So at this point, at this juncture, we need to um, get Link's sword and we need to turn it into a gilded sword. Unfortunately, in order to do that though, you need to actually win the Goron races and the little child that you wind up trying to calm down at the beginning of this bullshit, um, he winds up giving you a bottle of gold dust that you take to the one armor dude. And what sucks about that too is he needs two in-game days in order to um, fix your sword. So I wonder if I shouldn't reset myself back to the first day because he's in here and he literally makes you wait two in-game days. I wonder if I would have enough time because I kind of don't think I do. I think I should just reset myself back to the first day because I've already completed the dungeon. Everything is basically done at this point. Um, but it takes more time because it takes two two in-game days for him to fix the sword because you give him you give him this sword first like this and then he turns it into the razor sword but then you need to turn it into the gilded sword so that also takes time so and you're like uh um, unprotected the entire time um so he needs the gold dust stuff. I wonder if I should get that first. Because I could give him my sword right now and then pay the 100 rubies that he needs. But what sucks about that is I'm unarmed the entire time. I don't have any way to defend myself if I give him my sword. Unless I switch to one of my masks and use their attacks to help me fight in the meantime. Don't know what I want to do, but I need to make up my mind right now. I feel like there's something shooting something at me. Oh, yeah, the battle music is playing. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Beware, there is a Pokemon on the field. What was his name again? Beedrill or some stupid shit? I don't know. <laughs> what was his name again? Alright, alright. Um, I need to go over here. I was trying to get more money. They hate me and they know it. They don't want to give me money because they freaking hate me. Can I? Can, well, everything's unfrozen now, so I can get into the water. Oh, I needed that. No. Oh, no, 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 no. It's so like freaking Woody from Toy Story. 
No, 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 no. Literally, I needed that. I didn't realize there was a fairy in there, you piece of shit. Don't you look at me like that, you owl. You owl bastard. I know it is you scheming against me. Don't you pretend like you're not. I needed that fairy, though. That sucks. What do you want? Stop it. Bastard. Such a weak enemy dies in one hit. How could he ever pose a threat? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do because I know it takes a lot of- Oh yeah? Oh yeah? No, oh, yeah. Okay. Give me money! <laughs> oh, okay. They, they, uh, uh, they peaced out. They were suddenly afraid of me at that moment. Yeah, because it takes two in-game days. I mean, I could just work, work on getting it. Getting at least the Razor version of the sword. Damn it. There's not enough time for anything. That's the only thing I kind of hate about this. There's not enough time for anything. Need to run. Run. Run right now. Run right now. Okay. Woo! Slowly roll up this shit and kill them. No, oh, yeah. Smother me, my children. Ah, oh, yeah. My yin yang children, my orbs of light. Let me fucking. Oh, yeah. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit. I didn't need to fight all of them. I could have left, but you know. Ooh, they won't even let me get my spikes. I need to run. Okay, stop. Alright. Yeah, because there's a shortcut to let you get back up on top of this mountain. Though, to be fair, I didn't actually need to do that. I could have just climbed up the other way. Oh, yeah. I looks like a sacrificial tremble. I don't even need to be in here. This, uh, this isn't actually where I was trying to go. What am I doing? Huh? Why did they zoom on to his grave like that? Oh my god. Yeah, that wasn't actually where I was supposed to go at all. Um, I'm an idiot. I lived. I survived. I also just noticed how weird that is. Look at that. Not the moon, the fire coming out of the thing. Go away, you freaking bum oh god. Alright. So I think I need to go down this way. Oh man, they're after me. They're after me. Oh, they're after me. Actually, no. It's the other way. Help! Silly me, tricks are for kids. <laughs> you don't see me stop that. I need it because there's a one guy that gives me a powder cake for free. I'm thinking if I can go get the powder cake for free from him, um, then it'll be easy. I mean, I say that, but you know, that probably ain't true. <laughs> the tech type. No, 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 no. I don't know why he stopped to pick up the plant. I was trying to get him to run away, and he was like, let me do a thing. So, what sucks is I have to come through here with this powder cake to blow up a thing. And there's like enemies everywhere here. He's like, let me rule you. You're pushing me. Oh, you want to race with me up the bridge? That's cu that's cute. That's real cute. That's that's real cute. That thing you're doing. <laughs> what in the sweet hell? Okay. I'm trying to make him go faster. Okay. I think I have to be a Goron though in order to talk to him, otherwise he won't uh he won't do it. 
He'll be like, what is this human child doing down here? How dare you, human child? The hell out of here, you human child. Okay. No. What was that? What was that? What the hell was that? Okay, I am the Goron who sells the powder keg. Most famous product of the Gorons. One powder keg. Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? What? Why would he say I can't trust you? I can't let you use any on your own. Then proceeds to ask me if I will give it a try. Dude. You're like, that's like giving somebody a gun saying, I can't trust you to use this, but do you want to shoot that wall? Like, oh my god, yeah. If you can, destroy the bolt that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here. Using the powder keg I'm about to give you, then I'll prove you to carry them. Oh, I guess it's a challenge. When the powder keg begins to ticking faster, it means it's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder block in the Goron racetrack entrance without the powder keg exploding on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it when you see it. Come finish. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Throw it. Okay. Grab it. No, please. Just throw the barrel. No, grab it. Oh, I'm having control problems here. Throw it. Woo! Cool, calm, and collected, as I said. Alright. Gimme. 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 Hmm. Yeah, so I have to take it quite a distance, if I remember correctly. I must hurry before it explodes. Yeah, and I can't get hit by any of these. You don't see me, bro. Stop, stop, stop playing. Man, I feel like the fuse is going down faster. Normally it would be still hanging a little lower. Ah, shit. He's like, what are you even doing with that powder keg? Put it back. Uh, okay, um... Let me take a drink of water here. Oh god. So like I said, I'm still trying to decide on if I want to teleport back to the first day. I'm trying to plan how I want to do this. I'm worried about that tech type. Shit. Come on. No, please just grab it. Thought of vibrating. It's about to explode. I need to hurry up. 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 Throw I hit the button for him to throw it and he clearly didn't. Throw it. Okay. I'm just not close enough to it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Put it down. Come down here. <laughs> Waiting for it to blow up. There it goes. Okay, yeah, that was cool. Racetrack. Okay. Waddles away. <laughs> oh my god, you bastard. I hate you. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that sound? Oh my god. Yeah, so now I have to try to see if I can actually win the race, uh, the Goron race. I need the gold dust. Um, wrong button. Um,. I need the gold dust so I can turn that sword into the whatever. But I'm just worried about the time. Well, time to worry about it. The race is pretty simple too. You just gotta get first place, but I don't know if I can. I'm also running out of time, so if you're wondering why I keep... Why I keep pausing. I can only record for so long, so... Um... I need to hurry and get that sword, so I'll probably just leave that here.